Hi, welcome to Nichecraft. My name is Cassie and I'm your host. Today is Mystery Box Monday and I've got some mystery boxes to unbox for you guys. Um, first, I wanted to welcome you back to the channel and for those of you who are watching me for the first time, hi, I hope we get along. If we do, maybe you'd like to hit subscribe. Um, go ahead and hit the like button, get that over with so you don't forget later on, <laughs> although I'll remind you later on as well. Um, and before I open these mystery boxes, I just wanted to let you know that um, I'm going to be picking the winner of my most recent giveaway tonight. So you're going to want to go find that video and enter to win. So if you need to go do that, I'll be here when you come back and you can watch me open the mystery boxes. Otherwise, I will remind you at the end of this video so you can wait till then. Also, anybody who wants to know any kind of news about the channel, anything that's going on, um, you know, this month and, you know, what to expect on the channel for the next week or so, um, I always do that at the end of my mystery box Mondays. <laughs> so um, just go ahead and save the end and you'll hear all of that stuff too. That said, I have got two Mary Maxim mystery boxes and I have been waiting for weeks for them. I kind of want to say it's not their fault because it really, it was a mistake that they made. I had ordered some mystery boxes from them, um, gosh, maybe a month ago and when they shipped my order, they left out the mystery boxes, you know. I order with them so often, though, that them leaving out the mystery boxes, this is the first time it's ever happened in several years. But they took care of it for me, and they shipped them back out to me. It just took a while for them to get here. Also, the reason I didn't do last week's mystery box Monday is because of I thought that this were going to come in the mail. Um, they didn't, so I was just like, well, I'll just kind of go with it. But Mystery Box Monday is every Monday. I open Mystery Boxes. You guys love it. I love it. Um, it's really something I look forward to a whole lot. So anyway, we've got two Mary Mags of Mystery Boxes here. Um, from appearances, it looks like they have very, very similar items in them. But I'm going to open them up. So, mystery boxes from Mary Maxim come in these really cool bags. Now, they're see-through, so as soon as you get them in the mail, you kind of can tell what you've got. Um, always come with at least one pattern, if not more. Um, but I love these bags because you can put all of the stuff that you want to make a part project in it. And they're big enough to um, hold like enough yarn for like a blanket or something like that. So, any project you can think of. You can put all the yarn in, in them and then you can kind of like organize them on your shelf or wherever you keep your yarn. Um, and so I do want to say I love that. Okay, I really, really love that. So um, I'm gonna start with this first mystery box and we'll see what I got. So I'm really excited that I got this. Um, let's see, it doesn't say what, it's bent over here a little bit. It's called, um, a monite shawl. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Yeah, it's a little pack and it comes with these these little cotton, the Mary Maxim cotton. There's um, probably six of them in there based on what I can feel. I don't want to open it up, <laughs> but there's, there's six of them and it gives you the pattern to make this. So actually I'll, I'll open this one because I have a second one in the other mystery box. Because I want to know if it's a knit or a crochet pattern. So, what do we get in here? I am so sorry for those of you who don't like that noise. Okay, yes, I was right. These are the colors. All those different colors of blue. It's pretty. And this shawl. Oh, how interesting. It doesn't actually have um, a pattern but they have both of them we've got the trim shawl and we've got the ammonite shawl but it doesn't have the pattern for it in here i bet that you can get them for free on marymaxim.com though because they have a lot of free patterns there so um i'm gonna go ahead and say that that's probably where you can get them it looks like one of them is a knit pattern and one of them is a crochet pattern although they could be both crochet patterns so I got that. Either way, you know, if you want to make a gradient shawl, you could probably um, find one for those cotton, um, for like the Cotton King cottons, and you could make it with this by, by just using them in order. Um, so just wanted to um, mention that. 
Um, also, this cotton, it's it's the Mary Maxim Pure Cotton. Um, these, it's a, it's a one super fine and um, this is a 25 gram pack. You can buy them in bigger balls, okay? But it's really soft. I mean, some cotton can be kind of rough, um, like wash rag cotton that you, that you make dishcloths out of and stuff. This is really soft. It's also chain spun. That's another thing. That, that probably is also what makes it feel so soft. Let me go ahead and get this really close to the camera so you can see. Hopefully you can see that chain spun there. Please ignore my fingernails. I I can't seem to ever keep um, fingernail polish on my fingernails, but there, there we go. Maybe you can see that, but it's like, it looks, it makes it look thicker. Um, but what it does is it gives it this kind of um, bounce to it that you can't get with non chain spun yarn. But now that I've said that and I've looked at that, we can move on. So Mary Maxim mystery boxes, mystery bags always come with some of these. So we have the Mary Maxim ribbed collar. Okay, so this is kind of like a cowl and this is a knit um, pattern, but you can see that that is the pattern there. I personally don't like it at all, but some people might like it. So here we have, okay, so here we have a shawl um, pattern. This is a um, crochet pattern and it also calls for six balls of Mary Maxim yarn. Let's see if it's 25 grams each, six balls. Yeah. So you could use this with the blue cotton to make it, to make a shawl. And then, oh, and then here's the trend shawl. This is the one that was on there. Um, so let's see, this is a knitting pattern. So this is the trend shawl. Um, let me see if you can see the way that looks. Let's see the way that looks there without giving away that. And then we have a simple and soft throw. It, this is made with bulky weight yarn. So it might be a little bit too heavy since we are in spring. Can you believe it? It's spring, officially, according to our calendar. <laughs> it's officially spring today. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so now to the good stuff. I have been wanting to try this yarn, and I think that I've gotten it in past mystery boxes, but I'm not certain. Um, I haven't, I've got a project <laughs> where I need to clean out my yarn and like rearrange it, make sure I've got everything there. But we've got this Mary Maxim Glimmer. It's a four weight medium yarn. And this one is in orange. <laughs> I thought it might have a interesting name like copper or something, but here is a nice like autumnal orange. Um, hopefully you can see the glitter in that. Um, and let's see what it has. 97% acrylic, 3% other. I would imagine it's either polyester or, or what is it? Lur Lorax? <laughs> but Lorax? <laughs> I'm probably thinking of the Dr. Seuss thing. But anyway, I got two, it looks like, so far in orange here. Okay, and I also got two in this other color, which is, um, purple. <laughs> so yeah, they keep it simple. Keeping it simple with those names. I really like this color. Let's see, it'd probably look better against my, my daughter's skin. My daughter looks really good in plums, these kinds of colors. But yeah, I really like this. I think it would look good um, if I made something out of it for my daughter. And then we've got this. This looks gold to me. I wonder if they're going to call it gold. They're going to call it something else. What? Silver? No, that has got to be re that has got to be named wrong. What about this one? Are they gonna call this silver? No, 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 it's topaz. <laughs> okay, I, I want to show you why I thought that. Did it say topaz slash silver there? I was reading silver. Maybe silver is like the French word for topaz. <laughs> that, that can't be right. Oh, maybe it's topaz with silver glitter. Maybe that's what it is. Clearly, I can't get with it today, but I'm trying. Okay, I'm really trying. The kids have been out of school since Thursday and I mean, it's spring break and everything. And that's great. I love spending time with them, but sometimes 
oh my gosh, they just go on and on and on, and they're going running around and all this stuff, and I'm just kind of like, can we like sit still for like one hour? But anyway, okay, let's go back to the mystery ba- bags. We're, we're sticking, sticking with the program here. <laughs> it's good to talk to you guys, <laughs> seriously. So we've got two of these topaz slash silver, and then I have two more. Okay, so I got four of these. And I really like this color. I know it's probably it's it's probably a more boring color compared to the the burnt orange and this plum. I know it's orange and purple, but I want to call it something more interesting. Um, I know that it might not be as interesting as these, but I really like this color. Yeah, I can think of so many things that I could make with that, so I'm really happy. So I'm gonna leave this these one. I got something that I'm really, really excited about, and I really want to talk about it right away, but I'm going to leave it till, till the end. <laughs> so here's some more of the stuff that I got. We've got some Karen Simply Stuff Soft Marled. Now, I have got so much of this in my stash right now. It is probably, it's like something that I've been like kind of cramming into my mystery box orders. It's just like a bonus, <laughs> you know, like a couple of extra ones of these. I love Karen Simply Soft. I think it's super soft. Someone mentioned to me on the channel recently, it's like, this isn't discount yarn anymore, is it? Um, I, there is a um, Karen five pack on Hirschner's though, that they sell for like $18 maybe. And I think that that's, that, that five for $18 does count <laughs> as discount yarn, right? Because that's a pretty good deal um, considering the price of yarn these days. But this used to be very, very discount. Like, like you'd go to the store. I mean, this, we're talking about like the early 90s, but you go to the store and you could like pick between Super Saver, like Red Heart Super Saver and the in the Karen Simply Soft, but I, I guess maybe it's not that inexpensive as the way that it used to be. But when when you buy them in the five pack from Hirschner's, it feels like it is, okay? So I just wanted to like kind of mention that. But yeah, Karen Simply Soft Marled, I got one in this red color. What they call it is Harvest Red. That's an appropriate color name for it. And it's like this red and kind of like off-white. And maybe it is white, but it looks to me like it could be a little bit like have a little bit of brown. It yeah, I'm certain it has some brown in it. So that's what it looks like. I believe that this hat they probably have the pattern for this hat on the um, back of the label. Um, that's done in this color too. So we've got that. All right. So here's something interesting. We've got the Burnett Handicrafter cotton. And this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about rough cotton. This is very rough. It's a 1.5 ounce, weird, 42.5 gram. When did they start putting them in 42.5 grams? Anyway, 71 yards of this crafter yarn. Looks like one of these could make a dishcloth. So here's the color. It's It's got like this pretty like sage and pink and like the sage, like the green and the pink and like the mauve maybe and uh white there that would make a really nice looking dishcloth i think but you know i got one of those and then oh the bane of my existence i really don't like these patent hempsters they're really rough but i bet they would be good at um, making a macrame out of. So I have a little collection of these and I think that I have enough that I can, I can look at some macrame patterns and see if I can try my hand at that because I've never tried it before, but I'd like, I'd like to try it. So yeah, so we've got pat, patents, 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 um, hempster in mango. Okay, nice, bright orange. <laughs> and then <laughs> we have the Patton's Hempster in, what do they call this? White sand. Yeah, it is an off-white. Very rough, very, very rough, very like brittle. Um, kind of feels like, oh, and now it's not as bad as like the scrubby yarn, you know, and I think the scrubby yarn is supposed to feel abrasive. So like, I'm not knocking the scrubby yarn. I don't like working with it, but I'm still not knocking it. I just mean it feels kind of straw-like. 
<laughs> just that really rough feeling but I bet it would be very strong very easy to like tying like knots out of and stuff like that kind of like rope <laughs> I know I'm really like aren't I making him look good right um <laughs> did I mention that I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can get your own <laughs> mystery boxes actually I love I love Mary Maxim's mystery boxes and I will include a link but now to the ones that I am so so excited I was excited about all of it though but this I have been wanting to try Mary Maxim super soft for forever and they sent me three of these like, what, are, what do you guys call these? Like, tell me, for real, because I want to know. Um, donuts? Balls? What do you call them? They're not cakes. They're not, like, they're not, like, skeins like this, you know? What would you call this? A donut? A ball? Anyway, it reminds me of one of the um, ice yarns um, that they have that's, like, pink, blue, and then they have gray in it. It's a really dusty, and it's got such a halo on it. Look at this halo. Oh, isn't that pretty? That halo is so gorgeous. Let me hold it up. Do you see it? <laughs> Maybe I put the camera a little bit far away from me. <laughs> but anyway, this is a weight four. It's 72% acrylic, 28% polyester. There's 350 yards in each one of these donuts <laughs> and um I got three of them so so far 350 oh 700 uh I'm doing this in my head sort of about um like like over a thousand yards here just in these three so and they're all the same color let me tell you the color <laughs> now that I think about it summer sky Ooh, I like that and you can see some of the other colors like there's this like lighter blue um it's it's like almost could be purple but it's not and I think the colors go together really well it looks like it would make such a great like baby blanket or something like that Ooh, I love this I love the colors I think it's so pretty so that's one of the mystery boxes so let's go through this one really quick and see what's different about it. Usually they're about the same, but I just wanted to go through it really quick. Look, we've got another package with these shawls on it. I already know that I have the trend shawl there, and I also have another shawl um, pattern that Mary Maxim included that w could go with this. Um, so that's good to know. I got ooh, 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 three more of these, which is awesome. So that means I have about 2,000 yards, that's plenty to make whatever I want out of this. So I'm really excited to work with this yard and see what it feels like and all of that. Okay, so again, we have two of the purple, so now I have four of them. Now I can make something um, substantial with them. We've got two more of the burnt orange. I know it's called orange, but I love it. It's, it's beautiful, and I can say that this um, sparkle on it is orange sparkle. Okay, the other one, it really is silver, so I'm pretty certain. Um, I got another one of these Bernat Handicrafters. Um, I, now I can make a dish rag set. No, not with that. <laughs> now I can make a dish rag set or a towel or something like that. Um, so, you know, this is, this is good to have. <laughs> I got an, another one of that, like, just terrible feeling pay patents patents in um mango not my favorite color another karen marled simply soft and then we have four of these and then i got one thing that's different and the one thing that's different um is that i did not get a second patents um hempster instead i got this what is this this is so cute it's Sugar Blush Drizzle. It's 76% Super Kid Mohair and 24% Silk. It's only a 25 gram ball. Oh, but it, look at the halo on this. Oh my goodness. It's like lace weight too. Look at that. That's something that I could use like in some of, like some kind of crafting. Um, like I could, I could, I could use this. I could pair it up with something else and use it, um, that way as well so yeah it's a one super fine weight designed in Canada um 
It's a one ounce, 219 yards. That's actually a lot of yardage, considering that you only get 25 grams of that. Um, I would actually go so far as to say this is more like a lace weight or like almost like working with thread. It's, they're probably counting the halo um, in that weight. I'm trying to get like one strand out so I can show it to you guys better. So there you can see that strand. It is tiny. It's tiny, but like, just think about like crocheting a little, a little flower, you know, with this and like putting it on maybe a headband or something like that. Something like that. It would be, it would be use, useful for, um, it's almost like I got this mini skein. <laughs> yeah. 25 grams. My mini skeins are 20 grams. So yeah, it's nice. I like it. I wish I had more of it. <laughs> So soft. Uh, let's just look at these real quick. We got the ugly cowl, which if you like it, it's okay. It's cool. I won't tell you that I think it's ugly if you wear it in front of me. <laughs> Actually, I'd probably be like, what is that? Got another one, another shawl pattern, second shawl pattern and the same blanket pattern. Now they're not always the same. Sometimes they're different. Um, but this time we got the same ones. So yeah, I mean, just look at this. I'm, I'm kind of throwing all of these gold ones in here. And as you can see, this, if I wanted to make a, if I wanted to keep this to make a project out of this, you know, I can very easily see what's in it. And if I put that on the shelf in my, um, my closet that's what it's called it's called a closet then I can very easily you know see what it is and be like oh I want to make a shimmer thing yeah let's do that um or if I want to put these in one of those bags I could be like oh that's soft stuff that I wanted to work with and you know this is great so um in total, I'm totally happy. Um, just the six balls of this is great, but these um, Mary Maxim glimmers, I'm like kind of collecting them. I, I like them a lot. Um, I, I I like this. I like the idea of this. <laughs> I don't know if I'm actually going to use it, but I like the idea of it. Um, these don't really like them that much, but as far as like the feel, I mean, I'm just saying it's not, it's not the best thing to have but since I have a collection going on of this from past Mary Maxim bags or our other mystery boxes and, and all of that I, I I can try my hand at macrame you know I can't imagine ever using this orange but I'm gonna keep it around uh, you know keep it around for a year if I haven't used it in a year then I'm gonna you know like no nope, you can get out of here oh, here's another one of those gold ones so yeah I'm very very happy just between the glimmer and these I got my money's worth for certain um these are always so um well worth the price and then these cotton these cotton packages I got two of them you know um the simply the Karen simply soft marled you know this isn't discount yarn anymore <laughs> somebody reminded me of that so we've got a lot you know um can make some dish rags you know all sorts of stuff I'm really really happy with my order so guys um I'm about to talk about some new stuff in the channel that kind of stuff but first I want to remind you guys um remember to find that giveaway and enter because I'm going to be picking the winner later on tonight and um it, I, I have it scheduled for around six o'clock p.m um central time so just know that um so you're going to want to find that and enter that. And um, remember to hit that like button. Subscribe if you like this video. And now we are going to go ahead <laughs> and um, talk about some of the stuff with the channel and all of that. So I know that um, last week I pretty much just posted a whole bunch of yarny content that had to do with dyeing yarn. Um, like I said, my mystery box didn't come on time and um, Greg was a little sick and you know how some people when they get sick it's like the end of the world and so it was the end of the world and I was spending a lot of time with my family. Like I said, the kids got off school for spring break early um, last Thursday. So it's just, we've had a whole lot of stuff um, keeping, keeping me um, 
very busy. And so I just wanted to kind of explain some of that. Um, but this week we're back to our regular schedule. Yes, it's spring break. Yes, I am going to be active with my family for spring break, but I do have a lot of stuff that I've already pre-recorded and all of that. So you're going to get a bunch of yarny, yarny content that's not just about yarn dyeing. That said, though, I think that my channel is going, um, it's kind of wants to be a yarn dye channel. And when you look at all of the different yarn um, content creators on YouTube, there aren't a lot of yarn dye channels. And I think that I have something that I can bring to the yarn dye community. And um, it's a really nice niche. And so I just wanted to kind of prepare you guys to know that I'm probably going to be um, posting something more like two yarn dye videos a week rather than just the one. Um, and my Vice and Virtue series is, I've got, I've got the rest of them planned. I've got the colorways planned and all of that. So that should be rolling out as scheduled. Um, but I also have some other ideas. Um, for example, um, when I post my next giveaway, which is going to be tomorrow, it's going to be the, my um, spring giveaway. Um, I'm going to be showing my new colorway spring rose. It's part of my rose collection. I've got a winter rose right now available on my Etsy store. And so I've got a new colorway called spring rose and I'm going to be um, showing the channel for the first time in my giveaway. All right. So I've got that coming. I also have a set of mini skeins uh, that I'm going to be putting out. I'm going to be putting out um, the mini skeins as a spring flowers mini skein, like kind of like a series. I mean, it's just going to be available in my shop if you want to get just those mini skeins, that color palette. It's basically like a color palette. That's the best way to put it. So I've got that also. I'm going to be putting them in my giveaway, but I'm just going to kind of announce them at my giveaway like I usually do with new stuff. But then I have a whole new color series and I'm not certain what I'm going to call it. Um, I've already recorded a kind of sneak peek at it that will be coming out later on this week, probably on Thursday. Um, but it's called, I don't know what I'm going to call it honestly. Maybe you guys could help me with that. That would be really cool. Um, but I'm thinking about something along the lines of moody um, because this yarn is very moody and it combines two um, yarn dyeing techniques that um, are both a little bit difficult to do. Now, it does combine dip dyeing, which is the easier technique of the two. But it, the other technique it combines is color layering. And that's something that I haven't done a whole lot of on my channel. In fact, I'm thinking, I don't think I've done it. So I've got my favorite one, which I think will probably not be most people's favorite that I want to show you. Um, and the way that I make it is by dip dyeing three different colors onto the yarn. And this is what I got. So this is the bottom of the skein. And as you go through, you get to this really, really light, almost like sage color here. And it's got both that moss green and those browns. You can see that there is so many different color combinations going on here. Isn't that amazing? Um, again, I just chose to, to show you guys this one because this is my favorite, but I don't think it's going to be most people's favorites. I have this beautiful like burgundy colorway that just goes from this deep, deep burgundy all the way up to this really pale pink. And then I have another one that is um, very autumnal. I have a blue one um, that combines um, a little bit of a green tone and then also blues. And that's what I mean when I say it's moody. It like just looks like something that's very complex. So I want to name this something having to do with woodland. And I really like um, the maroon to gold one that I've talked about as being kind of like an October sunset, you know, something fall related. So I think I might be ma naming these after um, natural um, landscapes. So I am working, just so you know, I'm working on this. I'm not going to be doing it on camera for everybody. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a preview for those of you who want to watch to the end of what I'm doing and just know that I'm going to have a little um, preview to this as well. This should be coming out the first um, week in April. One thing that I'm going to be doing with this yarn that I have not done with any of the other yarns so far is that I'm only going to make it on really luxurious 
luxurious <laughs> a really nice yarn so this for example is a hundred percent super fine merino and a one weight i've got this in both a dk and a four weight so i'm going to be putting it on that and i'm also going to be putting it on bases that also have silk in them so this is going to be costing a little bit more but speaking of costs <laughs> here's my other kind of announcement and I'm going to officially announce this later on once it's 100% taken care of, but I also have a new website. It's nichecraftwithcassie.com. Um, That's it. <laughs> nichecraftwithcassie.com. And there I wanted to have a blog. So, cause, cause I, I like to write and I also wanted to have like a page where like I could send beginners um, to this is all the supplies you need for the different kinds of dyeing that you want to do, right? Um, and then I also wanted to share a little bit of business tips here and there, just sprinkled in there. <laughs> but anyway, the, the bottom line there, and I think the most important thing to talk about is that I have a shop there. And um, the shop is going to be selling all of the stuff that I sell on Etsy, only it's going to be so selling it for a lot cheaper. And here's why. <laughs> Um, I've had two issues with Etsy over the past year and the first one um, is that Etsy has always been very high when it comes to taking out fees. So with my shop where I kind of cut out the middleman and it's just me, um, I'm able to price things the way, you know, without worrying about that. So the prices are going to be cheaper there. I'm going to be putting out coupons for that as well. Um, I just haven't implemented them yet. I want to list all the products and do all the coupons at once. So channel members, you'll also get an additional, um, an, an additional price off for that. Okay. Right now I have a flat fee shipping rate, no matter what you order, no matter, no matter if you order 10 things or you order one thing, it's always going to be $5. Um, as far as where it is right now, I might go ahead and increase that in June to like seven fifty. but it's just to give me a little bit so that I can manage that, you know, cause shipping really is pretty expensive. But, um, so not only are things a lot cheaper, but there is a shipping cost, but it's a flat rate. It'll always be $5. Or if I raise it to $7.50, it'll always be $7.50. So just know that, that um, that's something that I'm doing as well. So <laughs> now those of you who watch to the end have been very rewarded because now you know about a place to get my stuff that costs a lot less. I didn't mention my second issue that I have with Etsy, and that is with the... Um, Silicon Valley Bank becoming insolvent. Etsy banked with them for some of their stuff. And so I wasn't paid. Um, like there was like five days there that I went from getting paid every single day to not getting paid at all. <laughs> and um, it was it wasn't fun. <laughs> and, you know, for larger businesses, that's not such, such a big deal, but because I'm still small and I do use that money to pay bills, um, it, it was a kind of like a crisis. And so it, it wasn't, it wasn't fun either. So I just wanted to mention also that, um, I, I will keep my Etsy store. I will probably be raising prices on Etsy in addition to, <laughs> to everything else, just because like I said, shipping is just, shipping and Etsy fees are really I, it's ridiculous. It's about 20% or more of an order. Um, and when you're already um, curating boxes where you've already paid for that yarn and you're putting it in the boxes, you already are taking a, taking a cut out of that. So um, yeah, I just wanted to be able to do that e in an easier, much um, faster way for you guys. So thank you guys so much for bearing with me, for listening to me chatter, for looking at my yarn that... Um, I love this colorway, but you guys will probably appreciate some of the other ones more. They're a lot more, um, you know, they're a lot more beautiful in the standard way. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to let you guys know um, to expect a lot of videos this week. Um, expect a little preview of these where you'll, you'll be able to see some other yarns. My, my shop and also mystery box mondays is on <laughs> i'll be opening mystery box mondays every monday from now on and um back to my regular schedule okay guys just know a couple of couple of um nine videos a week now from now on all righty i think i did it <laughs> okay now i get to go see what i got from amazon